Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to Orion Point. Let's take a look at this model. So this one right here, this is the 2868, and as by the number suggests, it's 2,868 square feet. It's a four bed, three bath, and it starts at $421,990. Now this will eventually be turned back into the garage. Right now it's just the sales office. And what I love about DR Horton, especially in this community, all of this paver, this is all standard. There are very, very few options. They've gone away from offering different packages. They basically just roll everything into the cost of the home. Now, as always, if you could do me a huge favor, like, share, subscribe, and let's get into this one. So, this is a neat, huge open atrium. So right here, very open concept. You have your living, dining, kitchen. I really like those cabinets. Again, those are standard. You get to choose from different colors and the countertops are the same way. It's standard with the stone. A big room. Living area. Now, you won't get that awesome wood paneled wall. You will get this flooring. This is standard, but you can option if you want to. This is nice. I'm not gonna take it out back just because it's windy. You will get the paver patio. You will get the covered area. There's even a spot right here if you wanna add a ceiling fan, you can go out in the doghouse. But one thing to consider with new builds is you will not get a finished backyard. You will be responsible for that. So it will just come dirt. Wow, look at the amount of cabinets here. I'll have to back up just so you can see it. Well, let's start over here. So one of the few options is the fridge. That does not come with it. You get the little coffee nook. You get the double oven, all of these cabinets. I don't know if you could see just how much cabinetry there is in here. Nice big island. Same thing with the other ones. Let's just make sure. Oh, I don't know if it was just that one. That's interesting. Let's check this one. Oh, I think it was just that one. You do get the whisper, the soft closing. Let's get back to it though. So you do get the double stack ovens. All of these are included. Right here, if we go to the island, you get the washer, the dishwasher and the undermounted sink. It's a big, big sink. This is actually a pretty big island. It's not as wide, but it's pretty deep. This right here is your reverse osmosis. So you drink out of that and it's basically like uh, purified uh, bottle water. I love the fact that they do the drawers here in case you need it for your pots and pans. Right across from it, you have your five burner cooktop with microwave. And again, really nice feature that it actually vents to the outside in that soft closing door. So you don't have to recirculate it. Another option that is in this house is this backsplash. It will not come with that. All it will have is a little piece of granite that just goes up like four or five inches. Right here. Whoa, this is pretty good size. This is a big pantry. Just so you can see this view again. It's pretty neat. You have this whole space here. So if you like to do holidays, like to cook, there is plenty of space for serving. It's interesting. What do you think? I know a lot of times I like the sink here in the island, but would you have rather had the sink in front of the window? Let me know what you think. Across coming down, you have a three quarter bath downstairs. So they have the higher vanity with that same nice wood. You get a fiberglass shower. Right here is the garage, but it is currently the sales office. Here you have your coat closet. This hides all the wires for all of the ethernet lines because it's already pre-wired. And into the first bedroom. 
this is not a bad room. If you watch my other videos, I'll link to the other two models down in the description and up above. It's definitely the smallest room I've seen in any of the models. The other two are quite a bit bigger, but the rooms are just massive. So if you're downstairs one, if you need a guest room or anything like that, just one more time at this awesome kitchen. I like this. It's a nice flow. But let's go ahead and go on upstairs. Really nice how wide this is. It creates a lot of drama when you come in. Now, if you have any questions, as always, all my contact info is down in the description below. Feel free to reach out into the upstairs loft. Really like the feel of this house. Very beachy with all of the decorum they chose, but this is a big, big loft. Coming down, let's see what's over here. So this is actually the master bedroom. So you're over here by yourself. Nice size bedroom. Nice glass window, it gets a lot of light in here. Actually, there is no fan on, so that is all natural light right here. Into, wow, this is a nice, nice master bathroom. So you have separate vanities with the area to get ready right in the middle. It's pretty neat, I like this. It's like a big thimble, or a bobbin, I mean. So same cabinets, same uh, countertops, really nice. Right here, I don't know if this is actually an option. If you could have chose to have a tub. So you have your toilet area. You have this nice big shower. And again, one of the cool things about this, this is not an option. You get that stone. It's not gonna come as fiberglass. You have a nice linen closet and into the master closet. Again, these master closets are huge. This is, this is almost as big as the downstairs bedroom. This is nice. Lots and lots of storage area. So let's come on back. <clears throat> right here, we have our laundry room and it is already pre-plumbed for a sink. So if you want to get a wash basin, you can do that. You will not get the washer and dryer. Those are available, purchased. And you will get those upper cabinets. Love this loft. Really nice. You can keep the downstairs a little cleaner, have more fun up here. Right here is the upstairs bathroom. So you get dual vanities, Again, these are the higher height ones. They're not the child height. Let's turn the light on here. So you get a toilet and a tub shower combo. Now this is fiberglass. And into the last two bedrooms. This is a nice size room. Again, this is larger than that downstairs one. You could even have some furniture in here. You could have a chair where I'm standing right now. And one of the cool things about these homes are their closets are just absolutely massive. I could not imagine being a kid and having that much closet space. Normally it's just a little slider into the last bedroom. This one's a little dark. There we go. Nice big window. Again, nice size. I even have a little bench over there. But what's so impressive again, this closet is massive. It's probably, well, I don't know, eight feet by four feet. Coming on out. As always, if you could like, share, subscribe. I love doing these videos. I hope you're enjoying them. I'm trying to put out a new one every day. If you have any questions, all of my info is down in the description below. You wanna see a new home, a resale, anything in between you have any questions on anything also i have a free app that you could download the mls on 
It'll be down in the description as, as well. Until the next one, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Have a good one and stay safe out there.